Okay, this is Swagger. So we're in at VideoGames.com, Velvet Assassin Walkthrough, and this is Mission 4. Let's get our mission briefing. Okay, that was delightful. Uh, right away, let's go forward. You open the door here. One guy. Uh, he's going to pause there. Don't go yet because he's going to come closer. And let's go. Let's go get him. And then there's a collectible right here in the corner right away. And then uh, get some more ammo if you've uh, kept the silenced pistol, which I have. Creeping forward because there are guys back here. You want to be right here, not all the way to the right, because he'll see you as he comes around the corner. Uh, that guy you can see on the screen now, he's leaning. He does not move. You just have to get behind him. And also note to the right there, there's glass on the ground, so you can't go that way. So waiting for that guy to come all the way around in front of you so you can get in front of him. And we go. And then uh, head back to the corner here. There's a little recessed area where they won't be able to see you. Let's go get him. Okay, now head back around to the guy who's lazily leaning against the column there. And for good measure. Okay, now you're going to learn about pulling grenades here. When he turns around, do not pull it right away. Uh, you want to wait until he starts to move away from you and then pull the grenade right there. Pull it. And now wait for it to explode. That's going to kill three. Now, if you leave the room and then come back into that hall, uh, the guy who's uh, on the move, he will reset his path. So he's not going to be coming after you. So now he see he's just casually walking down there doing his path like nothing happened, even though three of his friends just blew up. And that is, uh, that'll be grenade pin number one of the five that you require for the achievement. So now we just got to sneak down the left side here to get behind that guy. It's always tempting that as soon as you see a guy back to go after him. Um, it's also interesting to note they have no concept of shadows, like my shadow was straight in front of them there. Uh, you know, always take the time to pause. And then come up here, get the collectible. Again, I mentioned before, they can hear you through doors. So uh, always be careful before going into rooms. And then uh, make sure that you turn off the electricity on the left. Don't want to get yourself electrocuted. Okay, and there's a collectible on the other side of those crates there. Got that. Then you got to push this crate forward. Crawl into here. And you're going to have uh, two guys on the left here having a conversation. Little known fact about the Germans, they're completely night blind. Pull his grenade, pin, that's number two of five. Boom, there goes those two. Yeah, all Germans are completely night blind, so get the key off of him. And then head down here.
Kate. Officer there admiring that nice gold statue. Stab him in the neck. He's got a collectible on him. Make sure you get that one. And then you want to come back here, trigger this button here. That opens the wall there. We can't take this statue with us, but we don't want those dirty Germans to get it. So just shove it in here. And then, you know, I don't, I want, uh, I'm going to set this guy up as the guy who stole it. So we're going to drag him in here too, so no one knows that he's dead. They're just going to think that bastard took the statue. Push the button again. And there you go. Secret objective and achievement unlocked. Uh, you should never need a med kit if you're following along, and uh, there's some morphine there if, you, if you're going morphine happy. Uh, but in this guide, on this particular instance, uh, I'm going to get the detox, so I'm not using any morphine on this mission. Okay, head back to where you came to the puddle. We're going to go left this time. You want to let the first guy get into position there. And again, he's in a shadow. Germans are all completely night blind, so you can just go up there and kill him. He'll just kind of fall into the thing. And there's 50 kills for me so far in the game. Okay, I wasted a lot of time here listening to their conversation and trying to find a pattern, but really what you need to do is just go down there. Go down into the recessed area to get to the other side. Because there's too much light, you're not going to get to these guys. And you'll see that from their path. That one guy's going, one guy's coming. So just head down here. First guy you're going to want to get is the one that is currently on my right. As you turn around to come back, right there, that side right there. That gets everywhere. Should never need them. You can kill everyone pretty easily. In this game, if you've gotten hit, you've done something severely wrong. And uh, we'll eliminate these guys in part two.